Okay, so I'm going to hold the head up. And really, what we want to do to kind of achieve this lion trim is, you know, you have to think of, a, you know, a lion that you would see. They have almost a, a V not shape a, not here. Not a giraffe. Not a giraffe. <laughs> <No>. so, <laughs> so they they have almost a, a V shape, and it's it's pretty precise. So coming right down to the middle of the chest here. So I'm going to take some of this out and we're going to go, I, I, I usually do my line trims right about the, um, right above the breastbone. I'll stop. Is that what you do? No? No, 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 you're right. What, what are you saying? Nothing. <laughs> so, the line trims that I don't do? Is that what you're saying? He's totally making it up. He's never done one. <laughs> I'm not making this up. So... <laughs> I'm going to go right, just right above the breastbone, so I'm going to find the breastbone, and that's what I'm going to kind of aim this point towards as I'm grooming him. So all this is going to be nice and short underneath. Okay. So now when you look at him, you can kind of see some separation from his body and all of the longer hair up here. All right, so now we've got our line set in with our snap-on comb. We're just going to clean up the pads of his feet and just kind of edge around the outsides of them just a little bit, make them nice and neat. Now he's, he's probably got maybe some allergies. You can see where the bottoms of his, um, the pads of his feet are a little bit red. And a lot of times that's with a, the, where the eyes run and the bottoms of the feet are red. It might be like a food allergy or something like that. So I'm not going to go in there really tight. I'm just going to kind of skim the hair off of the top because I don't want to irritate inside there. Getting the hair out will help for the, you know, the foot to dry out better, so you do want to remove as much of the hair as possible, but I don't want to actually go in there. Now, a lot of your toy breeds end up where they have those, those um, luxating patella, the, the pop-out knees. So when I, when I pick up his legs, I'm really careful to hold, I have his stifle joint, I have his knee in my hand, so I'm not putting any ex extra weight on any of his joints when I lift up his feet. And you'll notice if also, if you'll do that again, um, if you'll notice, this part of her arm is also controlling the dog and the dog's hips, so he can't he can't move around or move away from her. He'll move into her, so it gives her a lot more control by using her forearm. And the same thing with this side. If I come in under this way, I can control his whole back leg without him having to tug or pull or anything on on his joints and make him uncomfortable. Good boy. Okay. He's a cute little dog. He's adorable. Let me just. What do you need? Um, this is one of the soft, the pooch brushes. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just I'm just fluffing up the hair in between his toes, and with my thinning shears, I just want to take off the hair that sticks up. You want a nice tight little cat foot nice round tight foot. So if you were to do this with straight shears, you'd be able to see all the marks and um, you don't want it, you don't want to expose like, you know, any skin or his knuckles or anything like that. So if you're doing it with thinning shears, it'll keep it looking a lot more um, like a cat's foot. Like a cat's and foot. And if you do it with straights, you can actually see in between each digit. So that winds up making their feet look like their feet are spread out instead of a tight cat's paw. And then the bottom of his foot I'm going to take across that back pad nice and tight, and then this little bit of hawk hair right here, I'm going to fluff that up, and I'm just going to kind of, I'm not going to trim it tight, tight, trim it almost like in a little bit of a crescent shape, so it's a little tighter at the bottom of the foot and a little tighter at the hawk, and that, that kind of, uh, it's, what I'm trying to keep is this nice rounded soft look all the way around. And it also gives them substance with their bone. If you take this down really short, it makes the bones look really weak, so it makes the rear end look weak. Um, so that's why we leave a little bit of hair there. Okay, the same thing on the front. 
You can see how it, it just, just fluffs up, just that, that stuff in between the toes. You don't want to go in and cut out in between the toes. You want to, and these Le Pooch brushes are awesome. If you have toe mats, you can just, I use my finger on the bottom and you can spread in between the toes. And you can get out toe mats with these brushes. They're nice and soft and they, they're flexible so they bend with the dog and it doesn't irritate them and you can get out all kinds of tangles much easier. But if I were to go in between his toes and cut out the hair between the toes, it would, it would show separation. And instead of having a nice tight cat foot, you'd have separate toes. It would look horrible.